Hey guys, I'm very excited about the new MCP feature on MindPal. Basically, MCP will unlock a lot of things. MCP allows an agent to connect with the tools that you have been using in an easier way than connecting with your REST API. In this quick video, I'm going to show you exactly how to connect a MindPal agent to an MCP. So, there will be a lot of MCP servers, which is something help you connect to MCP, and it's a tool called Composio will do it for you. They have a website, Composio.dev here. Basically, you will go to this page and you will see a lot of integrations like Google Sheets and many different categories of apps, like marketing and social media. In this example, I will show you how exactly I can add an agent to my. I will be testing. I will show you with the code interpreter tool. Let me find the code interpreter here. Here is the code interpreter. Let's try with the code interpreter first because I think it will be quite straightforward to showcase this tool. We will turn on this interpreter tool. In Composio, to use this tool, you will click the, there will be a bunch of guides here, but basically you will click the generate button here and you will see code. It's quite complicated, but what you only need to care about is the URL here, HTTPS. Copy this code and go to my MindPal. I have the Composio agent as a form demonstration here. I click this agent, I go to the MCP and add this as a server URL. I will call this code, we'll test the connection first, and you will see the MCP server includes the list of tools inside here. Let's just update this agent and try to use this agent to, for example, visualize population growth in the last two decades. So let's try this and let's see how this agent will handle this query. You're seeing that this agent is executing code and after it executes the code, it will get the file. We can click into this to see. You can see now we have the visualization from the code interpreter tool. It's quite impressive. So if you want to build any kind of tool on MindPal previously, you'd probably suffer with the REST API, but now you just need to click the URL in Composio and you get this done for you. Besides this code interpreter, some of you may not use writing code, but probably I think you may use apps like Notion or Google Sheets. So. Let's try something harder. I will go back and I will go to the Notion example here and I click generate here to get an MCP for me. Copy only this link. So you need to remember that you only copy the link here. You don't need to copy the rest of the code. I will add this server URL and I will call it Notion. I add this server URL. Okay, so we'll, let's double check this. Select this Notion as a tool. I go back to home here and let's open a new thread with this agent. Now I'll ask a question that I, Notion, you see the agent is using multiple calls here. It says that to connect with Notion, we need to provide credentials. To complete the process, we can click this link. Let's click this link. I will select the paste. I already selected a button sub paste here. I will allow access to all Notion bases. It's my personal Notion base and can click here. Okay, so I could test with a real query. Now I will ask this. I notice there's a page called Vinuni Capstone Project. I will ask, what is Vinuni Capstone? To see if it can actually query my data, it starts to use the Search Notion page tool, and it continues to proceed with fetching the Notion child block. It says that this is a Capstone Project technical proposal using AI for improvement using workout exercise. So, let's see the page directly here to confirm it. Now, the right information is put out exactly the right information. You see, this is how you can pretty easily connect the app to MindPal using MCP and Composio. We will publish more and more videos in the upcoming days on the actual business, business use case of this MCP. I'm very excited now because agent can actually take action and get the business context from any kind of app that you are using. I think this is the future, guys. Thanks for watching.